<clears throat> Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little different. Um, I'm going to give you guys a, a showcase of some items that I'm adding to Etsy. Uh, in and in case you missed it, uh, what, I don't know, it was uh, last week, I did a video, I was just kind of chit-chatting, and I kind of just threw in there that um, my daughter's truck engine broke down, and then my car engine broke down, and long story short, I what had happened was my husband has a, my husband and his family have a little farm outside of town, and uh, there's a fuel tank there. Well he had that fuel tank filled up with some fuel and he took all four of our vehicles over there my well, the four would be mine his my daughter's and then my stepdaughter's and went and put some gas in it well my vehicle and or no my uh, stepdaughter's vehicle and his vehicle had in a decent amount of gas in it but my daughter and my vehicle had uh, like a quarter of a tank well, so he filled my daughter's tank, he filled my tank, put just a splash or so in my stepdaughter's and in his tank. Well, come to find out that fuel was bad and somehow, I'm not a mechanic, I don't know what it is, it completely tore up my daughter's truck uh, engine and my car engine. Thankfully, my, the car engine isn't as bad as her truck. Um, so. What I'm what I'm doing is I'm posting some of the the makes that I have what I've made tutorials on I'm posting that on Etsy for sale free shipping uh, I'll get into that in a minute um, to make a little extra to make a little extra funds to help pay for her truck to get fixed and for my car engine to get fixed basically this is what we're doing here so I have all of this listed on Etsy. I have all of the dimensions, the size, you know, the length, the width of everything on there, um, descriptions of everything. But I thought I still wanted to just, I wanted to show you. So in case, you know, somebody is really interested in it, I wanted to be able to, you know, just in a video show you exactly what it's going to, what it looks like and this and that. Um, so I have my helper here today. Say hi, Jalen. So she's going to hand him to me while I show him to you. I didn't want to get up on camera and just keep walking in and out of frame, so I asked her to help me out a little bit. So you pick whatever you want to start with, sis. Is there a pillow that comes with this? Nope, this is a That's shawl. A shawl. Okay. Yeah. So this is my super simple prayer shawl. And it is a decent size. Like I said, on the in the Etsy listing, I have all of it. Um, I want to say it's like from with the border from tip to tip across. I want to say it's like close to 65 inches and then like 40 down the middle of your back. But this is a big seller of mine on like the pattern on Etsy. I always sell this pattern. So... There's that. It's made from Premier yarn. So it's 100% acrylic. And oh, while I'm thinking about it, all of these listings, none of these have been blocked. None of these have been washed. Um, I do have cats. However, I do keep my stuff, you know, nice and neat put up. So my cats aren't like wallering all over it. But I, I do have cats. So keep that in mind. So we have this. You want to put it in like what we've shown pile or what we haven't shown yeah. pile. All right. So this is a set I made for my husband. This is a men's hat and scarf set. Now I would say this is probably more for a medium to smaller size men's head. Um, I have a lot of hair obviously and it fits me pretty good. And then, you know, this, this unfolds in case you want it longer. And then the scarf can be worn, you know, however you would like to wear it, or he would like to wear it. Well, I guess it doesn't have to be just a men's. It could be a women's, too. I ha I cannot, off the top of my head, remember what yarn I made that with. But there's that set. And then we have this kitchen set. This is a, I th if I remember right, I think the name of this tutorial, or this set is bumps in the road I 
think, but as a very large dish towel, and like I said, the listings are in the manage or <laughs> the dimensions are in the listing. And here's a you know decent sized wash rag, 100% um, cotton. Uh, I think I may have used Hirschner's when I made this, but my I'll tell you what my sister. I have a twin sister, right? And she is she does not do does not make anything. I mean, she's not crafty at all. And I gave her a couple of these one time and she loves these sets. She said she it's it's just soft enough that it doesn't aggravate her face, but it's just I'm going to say sturdy enough like the bumps from the stitch that I used is a good scrubber and she uses these on her face all the time, but I mean it's a washer. I use it in the kitchen or <laughs> or in the bathroom. But anyway, so there's that set. And then we have, this is one of my favorites. I worked really hard designing this and making it, and I love this set. This is the Filet Heart Pillow and the Matching Blanket set. I love this. Can you see the filet in it pretty? Yeah, you can. I can see you through the holes. It looks awesome. So, I mean, this is, I'm setting down and it's covering my feet and, uh, you know, up to my chest. So this is a good, like, I, I wouldn't say lapgan, a little bit bigger, bigger than a lapgan, a lapgan. So, you know, like a throw or something. I love this set. And like I said, none of this has been washed. None of this has been, you know, I, that doesn't need, need blocked, but uh, the bags go too. Okay. So I was just telling you so you didn't forget. Anyway, so there's that set. And then I just recently showed these, or just re recently did the tutorial. <coughs> Hold on just a second. Okay, sorry about that. So now I have these three bags. So we have the black one. There's no pockets in it. And there's nothing on the back of this one. It's got a little bit of lint. I'll clean off of that. But here's the black one. And like I said, the measurements are in the dis in the Etsy link. I just, right off the top of my head, I can't remember the size of the bag. And so this, this is a little white one. Now, I had some, uh, a, an extra motif. And I kind of didn't know what to do with it. And I was like, you know, I'm just going to put it on here. Oh, well. So if you don't like this side, you can just wear it this way. Or if you like the other side, <laughs> just wear it that way. So there's the white one. And then I have this big one. Now this is like the beige and it has two pockets on the front. It's not one large, like there's a seam right down the center of it. And you guys, I mean, you can see how well that granny square is on there, right? It's, it's on there. So there's that one on the front with the pocket, which this is my favorite. I love this one. And then this one's on the back. And there, that's just a seam from where, I think it was folded when I bought it. And that's the seam from the fold, but that one's on the back. So there's that bag. Okay, so these, this is another big uh, pattern, another big seller pattern. So this is the, Toilet paper Barbie doll dress. That's the back. This this is a bow that I, I actually I had the hats tied to it to keep it together so I didn't tie it back very pretty. But so this is the um oh spit your words out. The Barbie toilet paper cover dress. So I have this and then I have the the teal and yellow one with the hat. And this one, um, right there's the little bow. Now these do have ties on the back. Um, I laced up the back and tied it, you know, just in a, in a pretty bow. Now there's a reason I did that is because nowadays, if you have not noticed, um, Barbies have, are coming in a lot of different sizes. <laughs> so instead of making it form to one bar one size Barbie I decided just to put the tie on the back and you know you can put it on whatever Barbie you want to I will say if you are interested in these and you you know you want to get these um these are tight on the hips 
So you have to pop them past their hip, and then they look perfect, and then you can just tie the little bow around their around their waist. Okay. So there's there there's these two. Don't lose that little string. That was supposed to. That's actually the tie up the back. I don't think this this one didn't have a bow. <clears throat> So do you want these together or separate? Uh, that you can just give them to me and I'll do it. Yeah. There you go. Okay, so the next thing is one whole listing. I'm not selling these individually. These are all together. So these are those pies that I made. Um, and I do have them advertised as the ones made of acrylic. You can use them as a trivet. I've done it. I have one that I have used. I will say the lattice, the lattice work on the pie, it does melt and it kind of looks funny. So the acrylic ones, I would suggest to use more for uh, like wall, like decoration in your kitchen. I think that's really cute. They all have, you know, a little hanger. You'd hang them on your wall in your kitchen. And then, um, now this one is cotton. So this one you can use as a trivet. You know, just set your hot, a hot pot on. So you're gonna get all two, four, five of them. And then I have, I just recently did this tutorial. So for one, two, three, four, five, this one's not pictured. I forgot to take a picture of this one, but you're gonna get this one, the sunflower one, which on the back is a little different because I was testing my design. So there's that one, this one, this one, this one, and this one now these are all double so like well the, it's glued together but there it's two panels stitched together so they're double thick they're all cotton so these can be again hot pad or uh, a wall decor like this one I thought about keeping and hanging on my wall because I think it's so pretty but uh, kind of running out of room <laughs> So you get one, two, three, four, five, six. You get all six. There's that. Now this is another one that, another set I really, really liked. This is my spiked granny stitch. Spiked chevron granny afghan. Is this the bottom? Yeah, that's the bottom. I'm holding it upside down. So it's like this. Here's the top, here's the sides, here's the, the bottom, which that first row, the first row of chains folds in a bit. And then we have the matching pillow. Now the matching pillow does look a little wonky because when we sewed it together, it's chevron, you know, uh, valleys and peaks, valleys and peaks, sewn to valleys and peaks, valleys and peaks. So it doesn't make that straight, perfect you know, the straight perfect pillow shape, but I still, it's just so stunning to stand back and look at it and your eyes instantly go to like the flow of the color change. I love this set. Anyway, so there's this set. Oh, <laughs> now this one, this is a big listing. So this you get and like I said, uh, the listing, the Etsy shop listing has the size of this off the top of my head. I can't remember it, but you get the, the two little booties. These are so adorable. I got yarn fluff in my nose. You get those, you get this hat, which I had pom poms to go on that you could like change and put on the booties and uh, uh, a pom-pom to go on the cardigan, but I lost them and I only have the hat and they are just, you know, tied on there. So you could just, you know, cut those off if you don't want them, but I thought they were so cute. And then we have the hat that actually matches everything, which is that little gray flower, and then, you know, it matches your, the little booty. And then you get, here sis, you wanna take these? My face is itching. <laughs> And then you have the little cardigan with the the flower and it buttons up. And I do want to say, so this whole set, I use the same color of Karen Latte Cakes. Same dye lot, 
But once I got it done, I stood back and I looked at everything and you can see where the color is change, the color changes. So I don't know if you can see it on here, but like the end of the sleeve, the end of the sleeve, and then from like here down is just a tad, yeah, you can see it right here. It's just a tad bit lighter. Are you serious? It's just a tad bit lighter than the rest. So, I mean, th that and the blanket are the two things that it's pretty noticeable in. So here is this. Jalen, did you already take the booty? Oh, you did. Here you go. And then you get the pillow, which this is probably my favorite pillow because it is all kinds of squish and soft. Feel this, sis. Isn't that oh, soft? Yeah. I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> And then you get this big old blanket. This is a this is quite large. It's probably larger than it needed to be, but I had a bunch of the Karen cakes. Can you see the color change? Not really. I don't think you can see it. I don't mm -hmm. know, but I mean, if you pay attention to it, you can see it. But anyway, this is a lot bigger than it needed to be. It's a uh, what pattern was this? Is this the bottom up? Yeah, this is the bottom up uh, granny stitch. So that's the set. All right, so this set is a adorable dress and it's got one button on the back to, you know, to secure it on. So there's this dress. There you go, sis. And then here is a pillow, matching pillow to the matching, quite large star baby blanket. Now I say baby, but it is big. Can you see the star there? I think I could see it through the holes. Yeah, you can see the star. So it's pretty big. Um, I put like the like I said the me the measurements are in the the Etsy listing and it has not been washed and it needs blocked because at the point that last row double crochet wants to roll up and it, like you just wash it and throw it in the dryer maybe uh, or wash it lay it flat or take a iron with a steam setting after it's dry lay it flat and then just hit it with some steam and kind of let it lay flat and it'll come right out of that I just I never did it this is pretty heavy too but I thought that was just too cute got it mm. all right so this is my squishy marshmallow dream set so this is uh, the reason I made this was because I had several several skeins of this Bernat baby yarn and I did not want how do I fold this I just fold it like that and then go in half oh, okay. like lengthwise bring the bottom to the top it doesn't have to be perfect sis but um I had a bunch of this and I wanted to get rid of it and I thought I don't want to do what everyone else does which is the you know the granny square I didn't want to do that so I thought you know what I'm gonna do a solid rectangle granny square and based off that I just made a simple little hat the uh, measurements are in the oh, I forgot to weave in an end oops the uh, measurements are in the listing and then a matching pillow which I don't know why that pillow I think it's the shadow from the uh, from the square it looks so gray but it's really not it's it's a white pillow I just don't know why it looks so gray so I mean you have that I mean all the pillows I use are brand new out of the bag and then I have the matching rectangle baby blanket and this, I could you imagine, Jalen, a little itty bitty baby you want to snuggle, wrap up in this, and then squeeze him? <laughs> I'm such a mom. <laughs> so there's this set. Adorable. Here, take this one before you hand me that one. There you go. This, this, this is probably my favorite set. I worked hard on designing this. I love it. Oh, the little bonnet. Thank you. <laughs> I loved this set. Oh, 
this is my favorite. So this is, I think this was named um, something, pe a peachy, peachy something, I don't remember. But it's got these little booties. And it's got this dress with a little apron over it. And it's all ties on the back. So all you have to do is just tie it up. I, I honestly don't remember why I did that. Why I did ties instead of like a hook and eye or a snap or a button. Uh, probably just because it was easier. But anyway. So there's that set. And then it comes with a little bonnet. Take that. And it comes with a very lovely matching pillow. And the matching baby blanket. I'm just going to hold this up right here. But you can see it's just like a block stitch. I think that's what it was. This, I would have to say this is probably my number one favorite set because I worked hard on this. Okay, so this. <laughs> All right, so this is my corner to corner granny stitch set. This comes with a hat and a larger hat. This, is, this was me playing with the design a little bit. So this is going to be a little bit bigger than this one. Um, size is in the Etsy listing. I don't remember. I wish I could. I wish I had a better memory. I'd give anything to be able to remember everything. But it comes with the matching pillow. It's both sides, and then a little. I think they call this a matinee jacket, but it doesn't button, so it's just open, and it just lays over like that. Oop. And then you have the blanket. Um, now I do want to say there is a portion of this, if I could get it right, that has a different shade. So like one corner is just a tad bit darker than the other, which I don't know if you can tell that or not. The dye lot changed and I was not happy, but it looks great. It's still a beautiful set, you know? I love it, thank you. I love this. And this is a decent size, it's pretty big. Now this is another hot seller on my Etsy shop, the pattern anyway. This is the 18 inch bed doll dress. The lacy bed doll dress, that's the back. There we go. So there's that and then here's the hat. I have it tied on with the ribbon for the, the bow around the waist. So here is this and then it buttons up the back. Now this, um, uh, yeah, I, I totally lost my train of thought. This goes to any 18 inch doll. So that would be like an American Girl doll. That would be like a, uh, our generation. Um, there's another one truly me maybe I don't remember but uh, so that's what this is for to make a bed dress so basically what that is is you put you'd put the dress on the doll and then you would set her on your bed and you know you lay her out all nice and pretty so you can see all the ruffles and she just sits on your on your bed I remember those when I was a kid from my grandma so there's that is this the last no, we have one more oh, okay so this is the <clears throat> Sis, there should be a hat with it. Oh, it's underneath. Got it? Sorry. That's all right. So this is my spiral hat set. Um, and I actually say this in the listing. And I've had people tell me this before. And I've had some good friends uh, defend me online because they... I oh, what is the name of that hat? Is it the... Inf Divinity? Divinity. Divinity. I think it, it is. So I've had people say, well, that's a divinity hat. And, 
and then somebody will get on there and say, well, you obviously didn't watch the video because that is not the same stitch pattern. That is not blah, blah, blah. I have never made the Davidi hat. I, I've seen it plenty of times and I love the spiral effect. So that's when I was like, I'm going to design my own. And I spent a long time doing that. <laughs> so no, this is not the Divinity hat. This is a completely different stitch that I designed. Let's see if it doesn't mess my hair up too much. And then that comes with a matching spiral infinity sh uh, scarf. It is quite hot in here, so I don't want to wrap this on myself. But so you have this whole set. Now th this has been blocked. When, whenever I did the tutorial, we blocked it in the tutorial because it wants to um, wrap a little bit. My hair back. So there's that set. And we have... This is the last thing. Okay, so this is... I This was a recent one. You left a little booty. What? Yeah. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all right. <laughs> so this is the ombre set that I did that is um, a granny rectangle. So you get two little booties. Now this is more of a nightgown set. That's what I was having in, that's what I had in mind when I was designing this was a little nightgown set. So you get the little slippers and then you get the little nightgown. Ooh, I messed the bow up. You get a little nightgown and it ties in the back. So there's not a button in the in the baby's back. So it just ties. So you have that. The little booties. And then you have the blanket. The matching blanket. Oop. It's this way. And then a matching pillow. The, the color is a bit hard to see through the white of the pillow, but I think you can you get the effect that it's the ombre with the the, the um, blanket. So there is that set. And then um, I have one more thing to show. I actually, this comes with a shawl. I gave it away, but it's so quick and easy to make the shawl. I'm going to make another one, and once I get it made, then I'm going to post this online on Etsy. But this is the uh, homespun. <laughs> I couldn't remember the name of the yarn. This is a homespun hat. Well, I can put it on for you guys. The matching hat and neck warmer, and then it comes with a shawl. I'm not going to put this on, but it comes with a shawl that I'm going to make to go with it because... Oh, I love this set. It's so pretty. But and it with a shawl, it just stands out. It's quite stunning. So this will be on there soon. And I think what I'm gonna start doing is posting. You know, I post the pa Ugh. I post my patterns all the time. Um But I am <laughs> quit because you're distracting me. But I am going to uh I'm going to start posting my final, you know, the end result, the end product of what I make. Probably not on every single thing because I may end up giving it away. But um, like I said, I need a few extra little funds to pay for some vehicle repairs. <laughs> so I will put um, in the description box, I'm going to put a link to my Etsy shop. And all everything that I have listed is under a section called physical items because all of what I sell are digital items, right? So I just wanted something something just for all the physical items that I'm going to make or I'm going to post. And then uh, I just ate some hair. But I have everything priced to add a tad bit of shipping, a shipping cost. And I have everything priced to move it. I have everything priced to get, to get rid of it and to, um, with the free shipping, so someone really far away could get a heck of a deal on shipping and then someone a little bit closer, you know, is probably paying a tad bit more for shipping, but you really don't know. I mean, by the time I weigh it, by the time I box it up, I could be eating the cost of the shipping. So, um, like I said, I'm, I've, I feel that I've reasonably priced these with a little shipping tacked onto it and, uh, nothing has been washed. 
Nothing has been blocked. Well, besides what I said had already been blocked. Um, and I do have cats, but like I said, they're not like wallering, laying all over it. It has been put up, but I understand people with cat allergies. Some people just, the, to be around somebody that has cats has a, a has an allergic reaction. So I understand that, but, uh, so there's that. What else? And I talked about the pricing. I'll put the link in the description box for my Etsy shop. And then I'm going to try to link the section with all the purchased items or physical items, but I don't know if I can do that or not. I haven't tried it yet. So, um, there's that. And if you guys have any questions that maybe I don't have in the listing, uh, email me. My email address is in the description box. I think it's always at the, like, the very bottom of the description box. Um, yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> so I appreciate you guys. It, you know, even if you don't buy anything, I just appreciate you for watching and, you know, seeing what I've worked really hard on making and designing and filming and getting the pattern on Etsy and all that kind of stuff. And so I do appreciate you for watching. You guys are all the greatest. I have the best subscribers. I love all you guys. And, uh, yeah. So subscribe if you haven't. Hit that thumbs up. Leave me a comment or email me. And, uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.